It's alright. Hey. Yo guys, what is up? Max here on Borderlands 3 video, and today we are talking about Zane Flinity, my Infinity Pistol Zane build. Now, I made this build prior to for a skill tree coming out, and it was pretty solid. It was a build that could pretty much do all content in the game besides bossing. Now, with the introduction of the purple skill tree, this Infinity build can now do all content. Um, it actually rips through bosses like faster than a lot of other characters rips through psycho reaver grave ward Tron, uh wotan whoever you want to kill and it, it it does it using the infinity pistol which is if you guys know it's not very a good gun um however with zane we can give so much damage to this thing and so much fire rate that it is incredibly strong and it's one of the more fun builds to play because you're using an infinity pistol never have to reload i hope you guys enjoy the video i'm gonna cue a little intro and then we'll get into everything else All right, hope you guys enjoyed that little intro. Now showing on screen should be the skill tree for Zane Flinity. Now, this is updated from the previous version with purple tree and it, the skill tree is honestly pretty much the same as my double O Flint build, which I still believe is my best um, Zane build. The only big differences here are that we're specced into like cold bore, for example, because we don't need cool hand because we're not being re reloading. And we're actually going to be making the switch from the spy com to seeing dead. Um, now, we'll talk about that in a little bit more, but I think the seeing dead com for this in particular is just a little bit better because we're going to be able to basically infinitely stack commitment or stack commitment as fast as we possibly can with our seeing dead if we focus on fire rate we can stack up more commitment those commitment stacks are going to give us a ton of damage and i honestly just don't really like aiming down sights when i'm using the infinity and uh when i use this by i feel like i need to aim down sights which i i personally don't love doing i i enjoy hip firing the infinity more so that was my decision making and on your seeing dead you're going to be looking for fire rate and as many skill points as you can get into violent violence um this is the one i have on right now if you can get a five into violent violence that is the god roll and will increase your damage exponentially however the one i got is is pretty good we're pretty happy with that now we are going to be using infinities with next two mags um some people, uh, I, I honestly didn't know if this was going to work or not, but next two mags does work on the infinity and it's unlimited. And when you hit your Mantis Cannon, you're going to get next two mags on your infinity, which is just going to be a ton of damage and is definitely the best anointment you could be using here. Since if you didn't know, Sentinel Cryo is bugged right now and doesn't work whenever you switch weapons. And we're matching our infinities um meaning that uh we're going to be mainly using the fire one for fire and because the infinities don't do as much damage you're going to be wanting to match elements when you can so try to match the elements of your infinities when you can and that'll just give you more damage because matching elements is super important in borderlands next up is the shield now you have two options for shields you can either use the frozen heart or like literally anything else the frozen heart on zane with mantis cannon is just unfair um it it's it's silly 
it'll insta freeze you can spam it out you're always going to be freezing everything around you you're going to get um since we're using a icebreaker you're gonna get that easy v2 damage everything's gonna be frozen nothing's gonna shoot at you um and because things are frozen you can just aim for their head and everything will die um for bossing i do not use the frozen heart because uh bosses don't freeze for example but if you're not going to be bossing uh for like any mobbing situation it's really hard to compete with this nova uh it does decent damage it's going to heal you if you need the healing which you shouldn't because salvation and uh the area of control is just silly so i'm either using this or like an old god would be nice um you can use the o.m for a little bit of amp damage that's nice uh, the grenade doesn't matter at all. I'm not specced into any skills that throw grenades. We don't throw grenades at all. So uh, whatever grenade you think looks cool, uh, you can put it on. I'm rocking to uh, the Frozen Heart and then an ASC on my grenade. And then the Infinities, uh, which whatever you get, uh, honestly, any Infinity is going to be good. But next to Max is definitely best for a skill tree. There isn't too much to walk through here. Uh, pretty standard purple Zane build tree. I know uh, Domino Effect gives us reload speed. I'm not here for the reload speed. I'm here for the fire rate. Reload speed isn't going to help us. Art of War isn't going to do anything for us. I don't need Deja Vu. I don't need Renegade. I don't need Tunnel Vision. So uh, so Domino Effect for me is the winner here. And I like Eraser. And I like our man Flint. Even though I don't like aiming on sights. When I need that extra damage. And I know I need that extra damage. For killing like Wotan or Valkyries or Grave Ward. Um, just being able to zoom in and get that much extra damage. Which is honestly not needed for mobbing. But for bossing it is really nice. And that is why I respect all the way down here. There isn't really anything that's going to help us out. And I don't love the clone with the infinity. In... Green Tree, the reason we're invested into Green Tree is just for Brain Freeze. I know Distributed Denial has changed, and this isn't really going to do anything for us. However, Brain Freeze, uh, when you hit a crit, there's a chance the enemy will be slowed. Our fire rate is so crazy um, with these Infinity Pistols that we're going to be Brain Freezing things. As soon as you start hitting the crit, they're going to freeze, and then once they're frozen, you get that extra damage. And it's another reason we're using the Frozen Heart. It's even more damage. Uh, it's just kind of a silly combination and yeah that's kind of it for the build you basically just run around with the infinity and uh and spam fire as much as you possibly can it it, it works really well I, I don't understand i mean i i just think this needs to get nerfed it, it is so silly to me that zane and infinity can take down psycho reaver in a few seconds but that's the way things are right now i hope you guys enjoyed the build and the video i know it's a little bit of a shorter one but I wanted to get this out because it is a lot of fun. It's a little, uh, it's unique and it, it just shows how strong Zane really is right now. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace. I was putting